Yeah, at least for the northwest corner of the state. They won't be dealing with a whole lot of active weather like the rest of us will be doing. As far as today's headlines go, we have severe storms expected for southeast New Mexico, as well as strong canyon winds this morning here in the Albuquerque metro. Then our high fire weather threat uh, really begins to increase at least for tomorrow. So right now we are seeing some strong gusty winds. Check out the Albuquerque Sunport already gusting up to 43 miles per hour, where we already had 25 miles per hour and we're at 31 miles per hour for Clayton. So now up until about middays when we will see our peak wind gusts for the Albuquerque Metro above 40 miles per hour. So that's the reason we are impacting at least the weather for this morning. Uh, but check out our storm prediction centers outlook for today. We have the threat of severe thunderstorms expected for areas of southeast New Mexico. So Clovis, Roswell, Carlsbad and Hobbs all around your community. Uh, you should be weather aware. Maybe downloaded that KOAT app as we send push alerts because we do have uh, the threat of seeing some large hail damaging winds uh, with these storms that are expected to pop up as well. We also have an elevated risk of seeing an isolated tornado pop up over areas of uh, the southeast corner. So this is a look at a rotating storm threat. So uh, when a tornado begins to form, we see it as a thunderstorm for first and then it begins to rotate until it touches the ground. So that's going to be a huge concern later on today. So we're going to focus our future track computer model here across areas of southeast New Mexico. By 11 a.m. we start to see that cloud cover begin to build over areas of the southeast uh, corridor, but then it's around two o'clock when these uh, cells begin to pop up over areas of Eddy County, Chavez County and Roosevelt County. And that's going to continue up until about four o'clock, five o'clock as these storms continue to push off towards the east into Texas. But as you can see on this model right here, we're seeing darker purples, pinks and reds indicative that these storms could produce heavy rain at times. Um, and then, of course, there's that possibility of seeing some gusty winds associated with that. All in all, it is going to be a windy start to the day here in Albuquerque, but then we become breezy. Temperatures in the upper 70s will be in the 80s across areas of southern New Mexico. As far as tomorrow goes, we have the elevated fire weather risk because we are expected to see widespread uh, windy conditions across the entire, strat, uh, entire state. And with it being dry, uh, that's going to elevate our fire weather risk as well. So we're talking gusts above 45 miles per hour, uh, which is going to be another impact weather day for us here in the Albuquerque metro. We could see some pop up showers over areas in northwest. New Mexico, but for the most part, I think we'll be remaining dry and sunny. Windy tomorrow, we'll get a break on the winds and cooler on Monday, but the winds really crank up again Tuesday and Wednesday. Down towards southwest New Mexico, we're talking the 80s today, breezy at times, but for the most part, you guys will be saved when it comes to severe weather. But moving forward, uh, dusty conditions are expected as the winds crank up again Sunday all the way through Wednesday. Southeast New Mexico, we have that threat of severe weather for today, even a possibility of a tornado. So stay with us and we'll give you updates as we head into the afternoon here at KOET. As far as Sunday goes, it'd still be windy, but we have less of a, a severe weather threat when it comes to forms of thunderstorms and tornadoes, at least for tomorrow. But then the winds really do crank up. Over northeast New Mexico, we have the possibility of isolated uh, thunderstorms for today. Uh, it will be cooler, but then we warm it up to the 70s with gustier winds and high fire weather threat for tomorrow. That fire weather threat also stretches up into the North Rio Grande Valley for tomorrow. As far as today goes, we will be in the 70s, mid 70s for Cinco de Mayo. Uh, back here in the Albuquerque Metro, it is going to be a windy start to the day. Then it turns breezy. So for the most part, the second half of the day will be a little bit more comfortable before the winds really crank up towards your Sunday. We could see some areas of blowing dust.